everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today we are just going to cover how to avoid binge eating and what the root of it really is because with working with clients lately, the biggest question I get is, I cannot stop binge eating, what can I do? So let's just talk about that today. So when you get down to it, binge eating usually results from two things, and that's out of emotion or just out of starving your body and not getting enough food. So let's talk about the emotion factor first. Usually it comes from two emotions, boredom or being upset and sad. And so if you find yourself running to the kitchen every time you're bored or every time you're just really upset about something, try to find another place to go. Try to find something else to do to deal with your emotions instead of food. So try to journal. Like I journal a lot when I have a lot on my mind. Or like go on a walk or call a friend or a family member. So try to just avoid eating and binge eating out of emotions, whether that be boredom or just being upset over something or even just not wanting to like study or something. I know that's a big thing for me. So try to find something else to release those emotions instead of food. <laughs> and then number two is just a lot of people binge eat because of not getting enough food in earlier in the day. And so whether it's you're trying to restrict earlier in the day with your breakfast and your lunch and your snacks, or you just get busy and you're at work and you don't get time to eat and then you get home late at night and you've had less than half the calories that your body needs, you're going to end up binging because you just can't listen to your body at that point and stop when you're full because your hunger cues are all messed up because your body's just like, feed me. So the biggest cure to that side of binge eating is just making sure that you're not restricting at meals earlier in the day and not saying, oh, like, I don't wanna to get too many calories in earlier in the day. Try to fill yourself up with nutrient dense foods and also bring enough snacks. It's better to have more snacks than less and then just not eat them if you're not hungry. But say you're stuck at work late or you're stuck at class late or you're stuck in the car in traffic and you end up getting home a lot later than you meant to. It's better to keep snacks on you so that you don't get home and you're like not like ravenous like grabbing for food and like trying to just like get food in you because that of course will lead to binge eating. So I know for me personally, I always keep snacks in my car. I always keep a protein bar and I usually keep trail mix too. And sometimes even beef jerky, that's a new one. <laughs> but keep snacks in your car and keep snacks on you if you're at work or in classes or at meetings because that can also help you. If you're getting enough in earlier part of your day, you're a lot less likely to binge eat at night. Like I know for me, a lot of the binging in my past happened because I wasn't feeding my body properly earlier in the day. So there are my tips for binge eating. Hope that this helped in some sort of way. Click the thumbs up if it did. And any other questions you may have for me, let me know in the comments below because I would love to answer them for you on this channel. And also if you're not subscribed, if you're on a laptop or like computer, there's a little thing like in the corner, in one of these corners to click on, if a little fresh and healthy. And if not, just click the little red button below that says subscribe. <laughs> so until next time guys, hope you enjoy this and let me know what you wanna see next answered here on Fresh and Healthy YouTube. Bye. <laughs>